Hello everybody, welcome to my guide for Diablo 3. Today I'm going to be giving you a guide on how to take the Whirlwind Barbarian build and crank it up to 11 to make to turn yourself into a walking storm. We have a full way set. All six pieces we have the Endless Walk set with the compass rose and the, um, the necklace. We have Obsidian Ring of the Zodiac. Um, on that we have the Toxin Gem um, for damage over time. On the compass rose we have Wreath of Lightning. And on the necklace we have Pain Enhancer for more damage over time. And we're running high crit. For the sword, we have Thunder Fury. And we have the Fulminator. For the abilities, we have War Cry Impunity. And on we have Battle Rage Ferocity to move faster. We have Whirlwind Wind Shear for unlimited. Uh, fury and basically that's what yeah um, when when shear is going to proc Schaefer's hammer basically permanently then we have undisputed champion as skull grasp and we're going to go over here and we're going to do a greater rift uh, level 25, I figure that's a good starting point for this build. Um, anything earlier, it's going to basically just, you're not even going to be able to build Fury. You're going to go through them so fast. Um, so, yeah. Prove yourself worthy. Now, first of all, I'd like to, before I get into the um, commentary for the Rift Run, I'd like to say... Um, I'd like to give an apology for the resolution. I know it looks like crap, but um, again, I do what I can with what I have. You wilt against my blows. As you can see on the screen, um, basically the proc of the Wreath Lightning, it acts basically like a conduit pylon. And um, it just wrecks everything. If that's not enough, uh, you'll see the, the enemies flash green whenever it hits them. That's basically the, um, it's basically the toxin hitting them. And they're becoming poisoned, they're bleeding out, they're being shocked, they're being hit with physical damage. It's just, yeah. You are literally a walking storm. Um, you know, it kind of reminds me of the BFG on Doom and Quake and all, all those other games. Because you watch this big orb of death and it shocks everything in the area and it turns them into chunks of meat just basically like I'm doing right here it is very it's a very beautiful build to use and um, there's even some Dragon Ball Z thrown into it for just good flavor um, and that's basically what Wrath of the Berserker is it's there for just extra power because again um, as it is I have plenty of power I can just stand still for a little bit and I'll get plenty of damage and if I want to really ramp it up I can at any time by just using frenzy <clears throat> and then I can whirlwind to stack on that and um, yeah it just it just tears through everything now as you can see I'm not 
entirely ready for Torment 10. Just going by my um, par my level. And I mean, it's going to take some time, but I will be there um, on normal, like non Greater Rift. I'm running uh, Torment 8 at the moment, and it's holding up pretty well. It just, you know, again, it melts through them. Uh, maybe a little bit slower than what you're seeing right now, but it does still do a pretty good job. I mean, again, it's like having a conduit pylon on you at all times, basically, because you're hitting so often that it, the 15% chance really doesn't, um, it's not really all that noticeable. Because, again, you've probably hit the, uh, the enemy, like, you know, 15 times just pressing the button down a little bit. Um, another thing is the reason why I have um, my two click buttons are both builders. Uh, well, one's for distance, and again, one is basically just a buff. Um, I know that unless you have that great axe or whatever, Frenzy doesn't really do all that great by itself but it I think it goes into whirlwind pretty well um, another thing is the Schaefer's hammer it it's kind of a hard thing it's a very addictive power-up to use and I'm very glad that Kanaya's cube was added because it made playing the whirlwind barbarian so much more fun. As you see right there, I just um, flipped Wrath of the Berserker. And it even looks like a Super Saiyan. And whenever I have the lightning flashing around me, it looks like Super Saiyan 2 or Super Saiyan 3. Like, that was really the draw of the Barbarian and, like, just from the start. And I just grew to love the class whenever I found out that it, I could get the Wrath of the Waste set, and have all these little tornadoes, which by the way, with Wind Shear and the Wrath thing, the tornadoes become, they, they have lightning damage, so it can, it can proc the Fulminator, and it can, um, they can proc the Thunder Fury, which can in turn proc the Fulminator. So, basically, those little twisters that are going around, they are other barbarians, you know, to a lesser extent. But, you know, it's, it's just crazy what all this is capable of. And I'm really surprised that nobody else has really done this. You know, they all, it's always Bull Kotho set, the uh, um, Immortal King set. And Immortal Kings, I mean, it's not something that I can really knock. It's a very useful set, but as you can see, I don't really need any any help, per se, in in this um, this run. It's because the sword and everything does it for me. Now, right here, I'm lagging, um, you know, again. I'm using a really bad computer for the job, but it's all that I have at the moment. And I mean, it's just a fact of life. Lag happens. And Super Saiyan time. Anyway, um, that's basically the video. Uh, I get my gym here and I and I teleport back to town. Anyway, I hope you all enjoyed it. Um, subscribe for more if you like it. Uh, tell me what you think. If you want more like this, then, you know, let me know. Well, uh, 